have <laughs> I was on YouTube looking at myself. Today is uh September the twelfth. I'm finna show y'all how to make Alfredo. We're only three ingredients unless you include seasoning and stuff. But this kind I use. This stuff is Alfredo sauce ragu. And since um we had some of this kind of chicken left over from the other time we made Alfredo, so I'm just gonna use this. You can just really um like once you, what I'm trying to say. Like you could just really put the um, chicken like straight into it. You don't have to cook it or nothing because it's already cooked. But I'ma um, <clears throat> cook it a little bit because it had a little taste that I didn't like on it. And these are the noodles. But anyway, as I put your water on, I put it on high so I can cook fast. You gonna well? I saw this trick on my bed. I'm trying to see, put it on my phone. But anyway, I saw this like that. You supposed to put salt in there, obviously. When you make it possible, make sure you put salt in your in your stuff. I put a lot because last time when I used to make um. Shrimp scampi and my noodles used to be like so. I don't know. I wasn't really cooking then, so I used to think I was putting a lot of I mean a lot of salt, really, and I wasn't putting none, barely none at all. So you're gonna take you like a little cup of oil to keep your noodles from sticking together. I got that from um what that man name Ramsey Garden. <laughs> When I was learning, how, when I searched on YouTube how to cook stone. But anyway, it's going to look like this. After you put the oil and stuff, oil and salt. And now I'm going to let it boil. And I'm going to come back. I've been getting done boiling and put my noodles in, okay? Okay, now the water boiling. Look at all in this. Oh. Usually use almost more than half of the box. Mm, I used a little bit more than normal this time, but it's fine. It's all gonna get eight, even if we have to eat it for leftovers tomorrow. Put that up. Okay, I'm done with that. Now I need to take a picture. Sometimes I do like to stir it up. Spoon and dishwasher, so I'm gonna have to use this. Just to see, like, how much do I really got in there? Okay. That's what I'll be using. Put it right here. I'm gonna open my chicken. Oh, I ain't even turned on the stove. Put it on seven. I told you I did. Kind of smell like a like a tuna smell that be in the packs, you know. These kind of packs. Put it on high because I don't got time to wait. When it started bubbling like that, that's when I know it was time to cook my chicken because it's almost done. Look at that. I meant to drain it out. All that freaking water look nasty. Baby, I kind of a lot of chicken in here though. 
Okay, I rinsed it off, y'all, because I ain't want all these nasty stuff in there. Anyway, I'm going to put some seasoning on. I'm going to show y'all the seasoning I'm going to use. This is what I'm going to use. Seasoning salt and garlic pepper. I love garlic pepper now. And I'll probably even add some salt and pepper. I don't know yet. Okay, I just seasoned it. Let me stir it up. I think my noodles are done. Ouch. I think my noodles are done because they keep on bubbling. So I'm just going to stir it. I can't stir her with the camera, so I'm going to put it down. Remember, like I said, you don't have to, um, my camera's going to go there. I hope I'll be done. You don't have to season it all. You can just pour it straight onto the, um, the noodles after you put your sauce on. But I like this, but like I said, it didn't taste right last time when I didn't season it and cook it. So, that's what I'm doing. I was recording the whole time but anyway this is how it should look after you mix everything together the fast and cheap chicken alfredo